I'm from the South originally. Uh, not a bad place, you know, I'm from Georgia. That's not the worst Southern state to be from. It's better than Alabama, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Do you know that they just legalized doing yoga in schools in Alabama? I'm sorry, did you know it was illegal to do yoga in schools in Alabama? It was illegal for 30 years and they just legalized it last year, but if you're doing it, you can't use any of the classic yoga terminology, none of the Sanskrit words, because they consider it Eastern religion. So you can do the poses, but you can't say the words, which is crazy. I don't even know how you do that. I feel like yoga in Alabama is just like, all right, we're gonna do a Dukes of Hazard into a Wayne Perkins. <laughs> We're gonna finish up bringing hands to heart center all together now. Roll Tide. Uh. Yep, yep. Now if y'all just wanna lay out on your mats like a fresh rack of ribs, we're gonna put on some Jim Croce. You just leave the room at your own discretion, okay? All right, have fun. I didn't go back down south for quarantine though. I was here in New York for the whole quarantine. And that was interesting. People got into weird stuff during quarantine. I was talking to one dude, he said, during quarantine, every day he would go to the park and people watch. Why is that okay? <laughs> people watch. Just cause we flip the words around, it's not creepy anymore. <laughs> you know? Cause it's much different if he's like, yeah, every day I go to the park, watch people. <laughs> but we just flip the words and now it's like this cultured pastime. He's like, yeah, go to the park and people watch. Sometimes I people follow. <laughs> If I really like him, all people kill, so. A cultured guy. I was here for a year, a year during quarantine, and then after that, I drove down to Texas because it was open, you know? And uh, that was interesting, after quarantining in New York to go down to Texas to see how they handled things, because it, it was a little different, you know? And I got down to Texas, I walk into this gas station, I forgot my mask, I go to the lady behind the counter, I'm like, I'm so sorry, I forgot my mask, and she goes, that's okay, sir. Last time I checked, this is America. It's a free country, and you can do whatever you need to do. Yeah, yeah. And then we coughed in each other's mouths and high fived all the way up. <laughs> Texas is different. It really is. I remember after that, I drove back to Georgia and I saw my grandma, which is great, because she survived this, and I was like, man, I gotta ask her questions. You know, I gotta get to know her before she's gone. And I remember, my grandma is cool. She's like this vivacious Southern lady. She says wild stuff. I was like, grandma, what was it like being a young lady growing up in Georgia? And my grandma's response, word for word, she goes, Michael, when I was 18, all the boys came back from World War II and we had a good time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was a very specific answer to a very broad question. You know, this... she's cool. The whole family is like characters, man. My dad's like a caricature of a southern man. He's kind of ridiculous. Like my dad's so southern, he believes in God and aliens. You know what I mean? It's not like mutually exclusive to him. He he's just scared of the sky. You know. <laughs> terrified of it. When I was growing up, he used to tuck me into bed at night and be like, all right, buddy, say your prayers. You already know Jesus saves. <laughs> and the truth is out there. Okay. <laughs> Put your tinfoil hat on and say your prayers. I remember growing up, I used to get whoopings. Make some noise if your parents hit you growing up. Make some noise. You got spanked. You got hit. Got beat. Nice. Good. 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 We're stronger for it. We are. And this year, flip the script. Hit them back. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm a big, strong man now, you know? I wasn't, when I was a kid, I was undersized, I was. When I started high school, I was four foot 10 and I was husky. Uh, yeah, my nickname in middle school was Bosoms. <laughs> it's true, I'm glad you can all laugh at that now. Man. It was weird, man, I started high school, I was four foot 10, I got to my sophomore year of high school, I was still four foot 10 and I started freaking out. I looked at my mom, I was like, mom, what's happening? And she was like, I don't even know, dude. Like, <laughs> This was cute for a while, it's not cute anymore. I'm scared now. I was like, I'm scared now. So I remember she took me to see this doctor, a specialist called an endocrinologist, and this man examined my little four foot 10 skeleton and he came to me and he was like, yes, you have the bones of a person two years younger than you. And I remember I was just like, yo, are they my bones? Like, what are you talking about, man? And he never explained it to me, never. He never explained it, ever. 
So I just like to imagine that I was an experiment in the same lab that made Wolverine and changed his skeleton out. You know, Wolverine X-Men, you know, they changed out a skeleton at that lab. That's the skeleton changing lab. And that lab's full of scientists, and no scientists are gonna experiment, and not all those experiments are gonna be winners, man. So I just like to imagine one scientist like, yes, this is Wolverine. We gave him unbreakable bones of adamantium. And this is Mike. We gave him the bones of a slightly younger boy. <laughs> he will not go through puberty until he is 17. We made it because we thought it'd be funny. 